Good morning, everyone. Well, we made the transition from rain to snow last night, and from here on out, it's going to be all snow because today is going to be significantly colder than yesterday. Let's start talking about the morning commute, and what we're dealing with this morning is isolated snow showers. So not everyone encountering snow on the drive to work or school, but it is a possibility, fortunately, where there is snow coming down, just light snow. So it looks like you can give yourself a normal amount of time to get to work or school. I do think there's going to be an uptick in the activity for the late morning and early afternoon. That looks like the peak of it today. Notice when we jump ahead to 11 a.m., a little bit more showing up in some darker shades of blue, so a little bit of a pickup in the intensity, too. I do think there'll be some pockets of moderate snow coming down. Still going to be scattered activity, but it definitely looks like a peak late this morning through the early afternoon. Notice 2 o'clock still dealing with the scattered snow shower activity and look at high temperatures today no more low 50s we're talking about highs in the low to mid 30s but not feeling this warm it's going to be windy this afternoon guess around 30 miles per hour and what that means is there's definitely going to be a wind chill factor it is not going to be feeling any warmer than the low to mid 20s about 10 degrees cooler than what the thermometers are going to be saying Let's talk about homebound commute. I think we're going to be past the peak of the activity. And for the homebound commute, it looks like a repeat of the morning situation, the morning commute, where we're going to be dealing with isolated snow showers and flurries and spots, but not everywhere, but all light snow. And then I do think by 8 o'clock, all of the isolated snow showers and flurries coming to an end. But for how long? Well, I think it's going to last through the evening hours, through the overnight hours, and into tomorrow morning as well. Looking cloudy for the morning commute tomorrow, um, but no snow coming down. However, for the afternoon tomorrow, I do think a chance for isolates, no showers and flurries is coming back. And look at high temperatures tomorrow, even colder than today. Tomorrow, we're only looking at highs in the upper 20s and still windy, gust 30. 35 miles per hour. So once again, feeling about 10 degrees cooler than this. So yes, that means you have to be prepared for not feeling any warmer than the upper teens tomorrow afternoon. So dealing with isolated snow showers and flurries through the afternoon, I've got to say, looks like probably through the early evening hours as well, but it looks like the flurry activity will probably be coming to an end around 10 or 11 o'clock. So how much more snow are we looking at? Uh, doesn't look like too much. I think for most of us, what we're going to be seeing is around a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. I do think that's going to be most common. A few spots are reaching that inch mark and maybe at the highest in the northwestern part of the area, I would say Tipton has the best chance. We might see a couple spots top out around an inch and a quarter when it's all said and done.